Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to our studio. Today, we have an unboxing and review of the new Redgrass stuff. So first off, a ton of thanks to Redgrass, Redgrass Creative for all this stuff, this like care package. And of course, this video will be focused on the new stuff, the XL swappable caps, which are, hmm, I was skeptical at first when I saw the videos at Facebook and Instagram. And of course, the new cork system, the pinning corks from Redgrass. So we'll kind of do a quick test of this stuff and I'll share you my thoughts. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. And this channel won't be possible without the support of my patrons. Basically, Redgrass has been supporting this channel and basically my miniature painting since I shifted from Gunpla to miniature painting. So I'm basically like sponsored, but I tried my best to be like really honest, like not honest, that's a bad word, <laughs> but I tried to be really objective with the review at the latter part of this video. So you see in the video like the different stuff that Redgrass makes and creates. This are all very good stuff. Again, I'm sponsored but this are really, really good stuff because I've been using them for so long and they don't disappoint like with their designs even the kind of like people find it expensive but the lamp is really, really good. Up to this day, I've been using the lamp, but actually, I have I will have a video about that very soon. So, Redgrass is known for their wet palette, their handles, and I am actually a fan of the brushes too. But today, they kind of upgraded the handles with the new stuff. When me and my daughter saw the promotional videos of the swappable caps and of course the pinning corks, we were, especially for the XL swappable caps, we were kind of skeptical. We were like, are the new XL swappable caps will be like, is there a significant improvement from the old caps? We were like seriously very skeptical. We were kind of skeptical because the handles themselves are really good already. Plus, we're, we have small hands, me and my daughter. So we don't really need a bigger extension for the handles. But basically, we think that the handles are perfect already. However, you could see that the caps, the old swappable caps, has their limitations. We kind of glue like figures there and try to glue bigger models on the sides and it was a bit challenging. My immediate like impression of the new Excel caps is that they look really big in person. Even here in my videos, the Excel caps doesn't really look bigger, way bigger than the old caps. But once you handle them, once you put them on the handles, they feel so much like so much bigger. As you can see in the video, the Excel caps are kind of really bigger than the old caps. Also, the flat surface on the Excel caps is really genius. You'll see it later in the video. So I paint a lot of bigger models, 3D printed models mostly, and I use this ugly like piece of wood. I also like release some models like this one, a 75 millimeter, and this XL caps will be awesome. So the flat surface of the XL caps is the perfect surface for my bigger models. Now I could use this very ergonomic, like ergonomic handle with my bigger models. It's just a matter of like putting a little amount of super glue. Of course, you could use the putty that you could buy from Redgrass, but as the models get bigger, I kind of recommend to use super glue and apply it on the model and the cap. And then when you're finished painting, you could easily snap it off. However, because I use super glue, I only allotted a couple of XL caps to use with super glue because it's going to be ugly. 
Now you can see in the video that the rim of the old caps is difficult to super glue because it's thin. With this one, the flat surface is perfect. So as you can see in the video, the caps can even handle this solid 3D printed model from Gamak, which is super huge. I was in the middle of painting this when the package arrived. Now, instead of using whatever, like a piece of wood or like a big cap or whatsoever, now I have an ergonomic handle that will be more comfortable to paint bigger models like this one. I highly recommend you use the magnetic base though when you're painting such a big model. The pinning corks. I don't really pin my models as much as I should. Like I usually paint the models when they're like glued on the base already. But because of this like pinning corks, I think I will be pinning a little bit more. Although most in most like I don't really like push for a super good painting. So I pin less than most people. The cork, the pinning corks were obviously designed with the older caps because it fits super nicely on the older caps. It's a little bit loose on the newer XL caps, but that doesn't matter because the pinning corks has adhesive at the bottom. But for me, since I don't really pin as much, I just decided to allot like four swappable caps, the classic caps, and put the corks there. And I did not use like the Excel caps with the pinning corks. We were honestly kind of skeptical with the pinning corks too because what comes to mind are the corks that you buy at bookstores which are very loose and it's not, it, it's kind of thin, usually around 1 fourth inch. But this one, it's a little bit thicker and also the cork is very compact which holds the model really well. Now, if you don't have as much like swappable caps as I do or like you have a limited number of caps, you could always just put potty on top of the pinning corks. So it doesn't really matter. You don't really need to buy a lot. But of course, it's more fun if you have a ton of swappable caps. The red grass potty, let's talk about it like real quick. It's actually stickier. It sticks to the model really well in comparison to your standard like the usual potty that you get in hardware and bookstores. If your red grass potty is a bit old like mine, you just need to knead it so that it, it, it's sticky again, it's tacky again, and it's fresh. Now it was like, again, like I said earlier, we were skeptical with all this new stuff, but I was really surprised after testing them out i never ever thought that red grass could improve on their classic handles so me and my daughter nico we were wrong like we were like major wrong in a way because again we were skeptical but now that I've tested the handles or the caps with all the like different models that I'm painting, it's, it's super kind of surprising that red grass was able to improve on their classic caps. As you can see in the video, like my muscular hands are like perfect with the new XL caps. It's like it served like it served as an extension and made the whole classic handle a bit more ergonomic. Although the XL caps were designed for bigger models like 15 millimeter models like you see in this one, it's it's you won't to be honest, you won't be using the old swappable caps unless you put the corks there. The flat surface on the XL swappable caps is a really big surprise. It's like it serves as a very nice surface for super glue when you're like gluing really big models. But the flat surface also serves as a nice if you're using just a potty and a smaller model. It could serve as your guide so that your model is like leveled with the handle. The quality of the pinning corks is very good. It's very compact. It's very like solid. 
when you pin, when you insert the pin, the pin is very like stable on the pinning cork because it's thicker and because it's like it's very compact. So you can see that it's very durable. Like the model won't be wobbling around with the pinning cork, the pinned model. And you, you can see here that a bigger model, 3D printed model, is also pinned on the cork and it's very durable. So it's it's I'm I don't want to offend Redgrass, but I was really, really surprised with this innovation. Like the flat surface of the XL cap will keep the model level, like level with the handle, and then it's a nice surface for the super glue. It could like handle really big models. And the pinning corks is a very nice innovation too, especially if you're really fine-tuning your painting with every piece of a miniature. Redgrass, Redgrass is super good at redefining like even their own very good stuff. That's it Pansit, I hope you like this video. Until next video guys, bye!